I have been concerned about cell phones since the very first time that I held a cell phone in my hand and I could feel the energy coming off of it. And for years, I have been trying to get people to throw away their cell phones, to use speakers, to use headsets, to get my kids not to talk so much on their cell phones. And a couple of days ago, the World Health Organization came out with a ruling on cell phones, a report. Now, part of the World Health Organization is the International Association for Research on Cancer. And they looked at hundreds of studies that have been done in the past 10 years and determined, in fact, the head of the working group, Dr. Jonathan Seyman, he's from USC, determined this conclusion. There could be some risk, and therefore, we need to keep a close watch for a link between cell phones and cancer risk. So from these hundreds of studies, they found a link between the radiation that comes from your cell phone and two kinds of brain cancers, one glioma and two acoustic neuromas. They put cell phone radiation, and this is a non-ionizing type of radiation, in a category of possibly carcinogenic. Now what else is in that category? Things like diesel fuel, gasoline, caffeine, engine exhaust, and now cell phones. So what are the ad other categories, you might ask, because this category was a 2B. Well, a 2A, which is probably things like UV rays, the sun, diesel engine exhaust, and carcinogenic for sure, the group ones are asbestos, x-rays, tobacco, things like that. So what does this mean? Dr. Black, who is the chairman of neurology at Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles, says that the type of radiation coming from a cell phone can be best described as the kind of radiation that comes from a microwave oven. And you know, I have a little segment that I did that you can look at after this a few years ago that shows how on a meter the cell phone radiation is very similar to the microwave radiation and it's called non-ionizing radiation. And he says that basically you need to be concerned because it does the same thing that the microwave energy does to the food. It heats up your brain. The bottom line is just what we've been saying all along. Use a headset, put it on speakerphone, Turn it off when you're not using it because that signal's coming through anyway. And even if it isn't right up against your head, that radiation is affecting some part of your body. We're going to talk about things like the Bluetooth and whether or not everyone's going to get brain cancer, why some people are sensitive, why some people aren't. And we're going to talk to the Safer Technology Advisory Board, specifically Dr. Carlo. So stay tuned.